everybody, it's Rebecca here at Wymer Maids, and welcome back to Tag Friday. Today's tag video is the creatures of the night book tag. So tomorrow is Halloween, so we're gonna celebrate Halloween, which is the night that all the creepy creature creepy creatures come out to play by doing this tag and celebrating those creepy creatures. This tag was created by Kat and Katie Tastic, and I was tagged by Trina at Between Chapters and Steven from The Lawn Gnome, both of whom I'm pretty good friends with, and they have amazing channels, and you should check them out, and there are links below so that you can. So basically, we're gonna talk about some different characters, some different creepy creatures, and we're gonna share some books and some movies today that go along with those creepy creatures. So the first one is Vampire. Now, I can't say vampire and not say Twilight. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Go check out Mari's videos of hashtag 31 days of Twilight because I feel ya on that. I know, I, I get where you're coming from. Yes, I used to like Twilight. It's okay, it's okay. Um, so I have to say Twilight because of that, but I'm also gonna, I'm also gonna throw in some other ones like the Sookie Sackhouse series, which I've only read the first book of, and Interview with the Vampire, The Vampire Chronicles by Anne Rice. I've actually, I don't think, read the whole book, but I have seen the movie and it's really good. It's what vampires should be, like no sparkling, no, none of that. It's they're great characters. They're spooky and evil and they're conflicted and they're sexy. It's Tom Cruise and Brad Pitt and Kirsten Dunst before she got weird and stuff. So yeah, Interview with the Vampire. It's it's cool vampires. The second one today is the werewolf. Oh! And I really like werewolves. This is my werewolf spirit hood. It's actually not a werewolf. It's a... Uh, Snow Leopard, but we're gonna pretend that it's a werewolf. Okay, as long as we understand each other, then we're good. So werewolves, actually, you know, they're pretty cool. I like werewolves, and but the problem is that I haven't really read that many like books that focus on werewolves. I tried. I read The Wolf Gift by Anne Rice, and it was terrible. Like, terrible. It was awful. I hated it. And there's a werewolf in Harry Potter. He's a really cool werewolf. He's one of my favorite characters, but it's not like a book centered on him. So I don't want to like say that one. And I mean, again, Twilight has werewolves, but technically they're just shapeshifters. So I don't really know any good werewolf folk like lore, any books or movies. I know there's Teen Wolf, but I haven't seen it. So if you know any good werewolf stories, let me know down in the comments below. Zombie. Brains. Zombies. Zombies are really popular right now, or they, they were, and so there's a whole bunch of movies and TV shows and books and things about zombies, but I'm gonna go with iZombie, the TV show, because it's amazing and it's the same creator as Veronica Mars, and so if you like Veronica Mars, then iZombie's right up your alley. I mean, she, they don't, they're not like your traditional zombies. They look like regular people, unless they don't have brains. But if they have brains, then they're fine. And they kind of take on the personality and the memories of the people whose brains they eat. So she ends up like helping solve crimes through that. It's pretty cool. So I'm gonna say I Zombie, and I'm also going to say World War Z because it's a different take on zombies as well. I like different takes. It's more of a realistic take about what would happen if zombies actually took over the world and I think that's really cool. Next one is a ghost. Ooh. Um, ghost stories really actually freak me out because I believe in ghosts, like uh, true life, I've experiences, it's, creep it, it's creepy. So I'm gonna go with The Diviners by Libba Bray, which I just finished like two days ago or something and um, so it's a ghost story but it's not like your haunted house kind of ghost story it's really cool or oh, there is a haunted house but anyway it's it's different it's cool I really liked it and I thought it was a really interesting take on the story so it's it's kind of a ghost it's kind of a ghost and it's kind of not a ghost but we're gonna just pretend that it's a ghost the next one is a witch or a warlock or a spellcaster and of course I'm gonna say Harry Potter because I have to say Harry Potter but I'm also going to go with the magician's route wording of this one and go with the night circus because there are magicians in here and they are using their powers for good 
in creating this really awesome night circus, but they're basically battling each other to be like the best one. Um, and it's really beautiful and it's one of my favorite books and I love it. And so the night circus. Number six is for fairies. And I actually haven't really read any books with fairies besides like the little bit that's in the mortal instruments that I've read. And I have not read a thorn of corn and thorns, a court of Court of Thorns and Roses. Um, so I can't, I'm not gonna mention that one. So I am gonna mention Peter Pan though, because Peter Pan has fairies like Tinkerbell, yo. And I do believe in fairies. I do, I do. That's right. Do you believe in fairies? Cause you should, cause Tinkerbell's awesome. So Peter Pan is my answer. There you go. Next up is the demon. And I feel like the obvious answer here is of course the mortal instruments by cassandra clare and so because they are fighting demons that's what they do and so i have to mention that one because demons 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 that's what they do that's what's happening eight is for angels and again i haven't really read that many books with angels in them however i'm currently reading good omens by neil gaiman and terry pratchett and this deals with both demons and angels so i'm gonna mention this one because it's pretty cool i'm only like 50 pages in so far but i really like it so good omens i'm gonna throw that one out here for this one now we have the aliens there's some really good alien movies like men in black and independence day and Mars Attacks, and I'm gonna say all of those, as well as all the other really cool alien movies. But for book-wise, I'm gonna go with Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which is also a movie, because it's really cool, and the whole thing is in space, and they're all aliens, except for the main guy, so it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, Hitchhiker's Guide, and it's pretty funny, too. Superpowered humans. Now, when you think of this, it's obvious you think of X-Men, because that's like, they all have superpowers. They all have different powers. Or heroes, where they all have different powers. And I love heroes, and I'm really enjoying Heroes Reborn. I just hope it doesn't go the way that the original heroes went. Because Heroes' first season was amazing, but then two, three, four, and five are like, pfft. So I'm hoping this one continues to be good. I'm really enjoying it. And then, my, um, for my like book, book answer, I'm gonna go with All My Friends Are Superheroes by Andrew Kaufman because these are not your typical superheroes. It's a really cute little book and you should read it if you have not already because I loved it and it's very short. So they're all super powered but not in like the Flash kind of way. Which also is a pretty good show. That and Arrow, I'm enjoying those a lot too. And finally the bonus question which Trina came up with is Robot or Cyborg or android of some sort and so i'm gonna go with cinder for this one because cinder is a cyborg and i was really hesitant to read this at first because of that but then i ended up loving it so i'm gonna i have to say cinder for this one just because of that because i of because of that i do well those are my answers for the creatures of the night book tag i hope you have a very safe halloween and that none of these creatures come out and get you because that would be really scary. So let me know down in the comments below what your favorite creepy character, demon angel creature, your favorite creepy creature down below and have a happy Halloween. That's it for me today. I'll see you next time.